for those of you that watch this later, this is that quiet calm. Hello, K. Matthew Do. That's probably Do. I, I realize that. So, um, right at right at twelve twenty nine. Right at twelve twenty nine. Um, I'm excited. We're going to talk about chiropractic philosophy today. Um, there's there's two camps in chiropractic philosophy. The those that appreciate it and those that, that might not but understand it to some degree. So I've got a couple books laid out here. I've got a really neat quote that I'm going to use that I, I think is um, I think is pertinent to, 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 escape, to today's uh, discussion that we're going to have. Um, but all of this came about. I had a last, last week's um, live cast had, a, had a, a, little, a little teaser toward the end of it. I was, I was giving some ideas and some hints as to what I was going to be doing on Saturday this past week. For a long time, I wanted to fly. I wanted to have my uh, pilot license. So what I did Saturday is I loaded my family up, and we drove up north of town about 45 miles to the local glider port. And I began the process of getting my glider license, my, my cell plane license, if you will. Why not powered flight? I'm a purist. <laughs> I suppose I am. I am in uh, many other things. I'd rather ride a bicycle than a motorcycle. I would, uh, I'd rather surf than ride a jet ski. I'd rather snowboard than, than use a um, snowmobile. I'd also rather be a chiropractor than use all of the technology that medical doctors can, can use. But uh, I was reading back through a little uh, chiropractic philosophical constructs with Joe Strauss uh, yesterday afternoon, and, and we, we were talking about the, the chapter, um, chapter 8 talks about the, the um, re-examination of the normal complete cycle. So I thought I'd show a picture in Stevenson's book, which was written in 1927, of the normal complete cycle. Um, this started in the early 1900s, 1909, I think was the first time we see BJ talk about the normal complete cycle. And through the next 20 ish years, next couple decades, there was very little evolution in the normal complete cycle. So Strauss does a really good job of breaking down um, some of the faults in the old ways, um, 19, early 1900s, and how to bring it into um, today's, uh, bring it into today's uh, terminology with some new science, um, with some new understanding of, of peripheral nerves, afferent, efferent nerves, um, some of the ways the body communicates that are not nerve-based. Um, so he has some really, really good, um, really good points to make through that whole chapter. And in the conclusion, it really jumped out at me. Um, he talks about Orville and Wilbur Wright and how they were the first people to fly and they had these philosophical constructs of flight. They had figured it out. They, they had kind of, you know, let rubber hit the road when it came to the science of flight, much like uh, BJ did for our profession as, as the developer. Um, he says at the end, had we not had the original one, meaning, meaning Orville and Wilbur or BJ's philosophies, um, we, we wouldn't be able to be where we are. So it's kind of like we're standing on the, the shoulders of giants, as, as a lot of personal development folks say. Um, I'm, not convinced, I'm not convinced that we could have developed a new model had we not had the original one, any more than the supersonic jet would have evolved without the efforts of Wilbur and Orville Wright. It's not dishonoring to their memory or their accomplishments to utilize jet propulsion, modern technology, nor is it dishonoring to BJ to develop new models in explaining our chiropractic philosophy. I love that. I love that. I had several arguments with the writing that Strauss had done through that, but in his conclusion, that jumps right out at me. Um, I've got a quote on my computer I'm going to read from the 14th Dalai Lama. His Holiness says, As in science, so in Buddhism, understanding the nature of reality is pursued by means of critical investigation. If scientific analysis were conclusively to demonstrate certain claims in Buddhism to be false, then we must accept the findings of science and abandon those claims. It's absolutely true. As science evolves, the philosophies that we have based our understanding of our profession on should evolve with that, and we should keep up with the times. Um, Lynn McTaggart writes a, writes a lot of great books on quantum mechanics and its applications and, and the intention experiment is a really good book about um, how the quantum mechanical aspect as we learn more about that should be applied um, to healthcare. Um, we can take that and apply that to chiropractic philosophy quite easily. Um, but we have to become a little less dogmatic 
BJ died in 1961, and, and God bless his heart, he would not have stopped being a philosopher were he still alive today. So for us to close the book on chiropractic philosophy in 1961 is a little bit backwards. We, we probably should not be doing that. Um, so that's kind of my take. It's kind of what, uh, it's kind of what I've been thinking this week, and uh, I have not revamped any of my writings on the normal complete cycle. I still believe in afferent and efferent and different ways of communicating in the bottle, body. excuse me. Um, but, I'm, but I'm starting to see, as, as Strauss did, that, that we can take and update those. Um, and we might be shunned by some of the dogmatists in, in chiropractic philosophy. We might not. Um, I appreciate that statement. You've been blocked. Um, I, no, I, I won't block you. I appreciate that, and I think you're, um, I think you're interesting being a DO as, as you used to think about vitalism yourself, um, and then you mechanized your entire uh, wonderful profession, which I actually send a lot of folks to DOs because they do have a, a, a great little, um, a great understanding whether they, whether they choose to practice it or not. So um, I appreciate you being open-minded, which that obviously was not. So um, that's what I got today, guys, you know. Uh, hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions uh, or statements. I'll be wide open to those, I promise. And, uh, yeah, we'll meet back. We'll do a couple musings over the next week. I um, hope my buddy Ray Ray and AJ are down at the uh, the National down in Florida, living it up down there. Uh, they're going to do some live live casting on Periscope as well. So if y'all get the, get the chance, at Ray Tuck, at Doctors Collabo, or Doctors Collaborate, I believe, is AJ's um, handle. Y'all can check them out on Twitter. Um, as they go through that. So until then, um, still right here preaching the vitalism and how it helps everybody if they are open to it. Periscope Cairo, your chiropractic philosophy liaison from academic to application. Thanks, guys.